So I wanted to share with everyone that I have a gift, a superpower, if you will. And that is that I can take anything and make it complicated and frustrating. We're on about week two and a half, almost three. And as you can see here, not much germination. It's actually pretty sad looking. And uh, yeah, it's not doing real well. On top of that, the few things that have germinated, I've lost about half of. And that is due to dampening off. About three days in, I started having white mold. It's like a white fuzz on top of the soil. Like it, it was almost immediate. And uh, on paper, I did everything right. These trays here are from a uh, bootstrap farmer and they're brand new. I just washed them out. So there's no foreign, you know, bacteria or fungus coming with these, they're new. Now, the soil itself, that is a big question mark for me. I think what happened was this soil came infested with bacteria and fungus, but I think that may have been what happened to me. Because like I was saying earlier, about half of the sprouts that came up already have died from dampening off. And what dampening off is, is a disease caused by fungus and mold. Hey everybody, I had to cut into the video here real quick because it just occurred to me that maybe not everybody knows what damping off does to the actual seedling and what it looks like. What it does, it basically breaks down or dissolves the cell wall structure of the seedling itself. It just disintegrates it from the inside basically. And it'll get so weak that it'll it will eventually fall over and just wither away and die. What it looks like, at least in my case, the stem where it met the soil got brown at first. I noticed it also kind of turning weirdly, growing kind of a weird direction. It got more and more brown until it basically turned completely brown and that's when it fell over. Now that's just in my case. I don't study plant pathology. I'm not an expert in that. So it may take different forms, but that's just what happened to me. Good air exchange, a little bit of circulation will help also. And believe it or not, full spectrum lights will help prevent stuff like that. And what I'm essentially going to do is start over. I'll let these grow and I'll see what I can get of them. But I'm going to try something different this time. I'm going to try soaking the seeds first in chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is considered an antiseptic and it takes away a lot of the bad bacteria and fungus. It cuts way down on their ability to thrive. I'll soak them for about 30 minutes in the chamomile tea. Some people do 24 hours, some people do 48. I'm basically gonna soak them until they sink for the most part. It may not be right at 30 minutes. But when I see them start to sink, I know they've taken in moisture and they've gone to the bottom of the cups. What I'm gonna do is cut some red solo cups in half because that's what I have. Fill them with seed starting mix instead of potting soil. Seed starting mix is generally sterilized, so I'll be safe there. And I think that's what got me with the potting mix. I think it came with all kinds of little funguses and bacteria, which end up hurting me. I'll saturate the seed starting mix with water. I don't want it wet. I want it moist. I'll put the seeds on top of the seed starting mix, and then I'll just cover it uh, just enough that the seeds are completely covered. And I'll add perlite. Also, I had perlite to everything, it seems like. Well, round two. Put some water in the bottom. Put the dome on. And now we wait again. <laughs> 